Welcome into the Ben Johnson Arena and Terrier Vision. I'm Mark Hauser. Tonight it is senior night as the Wofford Terriers play host to Georgia Southern. Not the last home game of the year, but a night in which the Terriers will honor perhaps the greatest senior class in school basketball history. Terriers in need of a victory. They come in at 10 and 4 in the Southern Conference, while the Eagles have had a very tough year. They are 0 and 13 in league play. Let's go to the highlights. As a freshman, he had the team in rebound. He was first in the Silicon and Gilbert Spanish. 
during the Salt Lake season, he lived to his story and was second in rebound in the first spot of the Most Southern Conference team. Last year, he had an incredible year as he led the team to the NCAA tournament. He led the team in scoring, was second in rebound, and was named SOCON Player of the Year. The most outstanding player of the SOCON tournament also earned an honorable mention in all American honors, both firsts in school history. In the modern record books, he is sixth in career scoring, fourth in career games played, and fourth in field goal percentage. He also has a streak of 72 games in which he has scored in double figures. A history major who is also the education program, he has been named the Southern Conference Academic Honor. Southern other direction in a scoreless game, 18-35 to play in the first half. Jelani Hewitt at the midcourt circle, guarded by Rundles, wants to bounce a pass by him, and it's off Cam's leg and now taken away. Cam front court, right wing, hits Dahlman, filling the lane in transition, and Noah Dahlman lays it in. 12-15 to play in the half. Hewitt drives the lane, bounce pass, right elbow, Bainham ball knocked out of his hands by the combination of Cole and Losing. That's a terrier steal. Losing, right wing digs. Diggs against Drayton, has a four-inch height advantage. Lobs right block now to Johnson. Johnson wheels in on Bainham, turns and scores off the window. Losing double-teamed in the backcourt, full-court pressure, but he gets it ahead to Johnson. Diggs driving all the way, reverse layup, no good. Noah Dolman tips it in. Eight seconds remaining in the half. Diggs gonna hustle it up the floor, mid-court with six. Diggs, left corner, Kroll, he'll take a three, and he buries it. Nope, his foot was on the line, it's a long two for Drew Kroll, and that's how the first half will end, and the Terrier lead at the break is 30 to 21. Losing takes the inbounds, races into the front court, locks him up high left side to set the offense. Right wing Rundles, catch and shoot, three is good. Cameron Rundles in transition, knocks down another tray. Driving into the paint, Drayton loses the dribble. It comes away to Giltner. Terrier's other direction. Rundles, left wing, feeds underneath the dome and all alone for the lay-in. The Wofford has their largest lead of the night. High right side with the dribble, midcourt circle, Diggs. Diggs angling high left side with his dribble. Drives the lane, clutches, scores, and he's fouled. Jamar Diggs with a big bucket. Giltner high right side with the dribble. Mike Young's going to use a timeout to empty the bench with 19 seconds to go. He wants to give the seniors their just due on senior night. And you'll hear the crowd. Sixty-nine, sixty-one Terriers, 19 seconds to go. And the hand you're about to hear is for the best senior class in school history. It was a tussle. And a struggle down the stretch, but the Terriers go to 11 and 4 in the league, and they remain tied with Furman for second place in the Southern Division. All right, let's bring in Terry Martin as the Terriers are winners tonight. And uh, what was it like to play with your folks here? Man, uh, you know, being from so far away, my parents don't get to see me play as much as I like, and neither as much as they'd like, you know. So it was lovely to have my family here. There's my little brother over there waving in the crowd like a clown. You gotta love him though. It was fantastic having him here. It makes it so much easier to play, so much easier to relax. Um, it's just a fantastic feeling. Interesting second half, man. These guys wouldn't go away. Yeah, we uh, we knew from the jump that George Southern was a scrappy team, that they weren't just gonna give up and roll over for anyone. And we knew that they were gonna fight to the last buzzer, and that's exactly what they did. 
Uh, Noah, your your mom hasn't seen you play much college basketball, and it was she got pretty emotional during that uh, senior night uh, ceremony. Yeah, she likes to stay in the shadows. Um, she's a very emotional woman, and uh, you know, she's she's amazing. Um, definitely the uh, most amazing person I've ever met on this earth. So um, I'm so glad to uh, have her down here. Um, get to hang out a little bit tomorrow and tonight. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. You know, we talk about the emotions, the last conference home game in the arena. You get another home game, but this one's a little extra special because it is a conference home game. Definitely, definitely. This uh, this building, these fans have been uh, so great. So great to the Terriers and so great to our senior class. So it was emotional. Um, but at the same time, you know, uh, we're going places with this team. And, uh, you know, bittersweet. It's coming around here, but uh, hopefully open up some more doors uh, down the road. What's it been like? having to play or getting to play college ball with Rundles and Diggs because you played with them as a kid. Oh man, it's uh it's been a it's been a run for sure. Um, you know, those two guys uh, mean the world to me. Um, you know, class acts on and off the court and uh, I knew that when they were coming down here and it's uh, it's worked out picture perfect. Jamar you hit you hit some free throws. Oh yeah. You finally hit a lot of free throws down finally made some free throws, you know. I knew they were gonna foul, you know, they they, they scrappy, they're real scrappy, you know, at the end of the game, but I'm real confident in shooting free throws, so I missed three that I shouldn't have missed, but I got a lot of them up there, so it's pretty good. Talk about your 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 thoughts on senior night. A lot of emotion in tonight. Oh, this totally. Time. I mean, it's, it's I love it here, you know, Spartanburg and this Waffle College, everybody from the little kids that are running around now to the old alumni that come back and support us, all the fans. It, it just means so much to me. And knowing that this is one of the last games here, it was kind of touching, but doing it with my family, doing it with my brothers, doing it with everybody around, it's just amazing. It, it looked like it meant a lot to you had to have your mom and your own. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I mean, my mom barely come to games. She got to go to the Minnesota game, but I mean, this is probably the last time she'll ever see me play college basketball, you know, and all the hard work that she put in to let me play this game meant a lot. And for her to come down here for less than 24 hours, get here, she's leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah, she got to be back to work Monday. Yeah, she got, we got kids at home she got to take care of, so yeah. they can't be running around the house by themselves, so <laughs> she, she coming down, I think 22 hours and then heading right back, but that's why I love her so much, she'll do anything for her kids. So. Tim Johnson, who uh, had his parents come in, I believe, did your folks come in from Memphis? Chapel Hill. We, uh, we live in Chapel Hill now. Okay, yeah. that's right. So, what was it like having them here? Uh, amazing. You know, being that my parents are getting a little bit older, it's hard for them to get up, up and down that road. So every time they come to me play, it's a big event. I was happy they could be here. It made it safe. Tim, another great job on the boards tonight. Just talk about the, the mentality you need to go out there and just crash those boards like you do every night for Wofford. The mentality of a, of a terrier, of a dog. You know, you just go get it. Uh, you know, a couple times you, you make the ball not may, uh, may not bounce your way, but eventually you'll, you'll get them. Just keep being uh, persistent. And that's like a terrier. That's what we do. Well, you're a guy that's been here your fifth year. You're red-shirted, and uh, you're the last link on this program to a special guy to, to Wofford, and that's Eric Marshall. And I know he probably was in your thoughts tonight absolutely uh, in my thoughts every game um, what he meant to me and uh, just just being able to be here and uh, he not be here it's it's, it's almost uh, you know every every uh, every time I play I want to do it for Eric and I want him to always be remembered and uh, not only are my efforts last year dedicated to him but it's this year my efforts have been dedicated to Eric and uh, he was really a special guy and anybody who didn't get a chance to meet him Sorry for them, because he was just a, a terrific guy, amazing wife, um, just a, just a wonderful guy to be around. Cameron Rundles will slide over here, the fifth of our five seniors on senior night. Wofford has beaten Georgia Southern 69 to 61. How you doing? I'm feeling old. <laughs> yeah, you are. Doing well. We just got a big win. Anytime you lose a game at home, and you and you got to play. Right back, a couple of days later, and you win. You always feel good, but uh, my body is my body feels terrible. You know? Really, forty years old, man. Forty. No, my body. believe me, you have just worked, <laughs> just this way, huh? Oh, yeah. you you have no idea what's coming. Hey, um. Your mom and dad make the trip down from Minneapolis. Yeah. So what was that like during senior night ceremony? Oh, man, that was great, especially my father coming. You know, my mom has been to a couple games throughout my career, but my dad never seen me play in person. So it was good for uh, – it really meant a lot to me, you know. 
I think I'm nervous before every game, but I was a little more nervous this game playing in front of him, you know. I wanted to play good and you know, I struggled a little bit, but we got the win, so it was good. And you got, you got your shot going in the second half. Yeah, I, I didn't get a lot of looks in the first half. I, I forced one, and, you know, I just let the game come to me, you know. Coach told me it'll come, and if it doesn't, we'll win the game, you know. But, you know, the guys did a good job breaking their pressure. We knew if we broke, if we, if we kept the lead, they'll have to press like they did, and I'll get a couple shots in transition, and Jamar Diggs, Brad Lawson found me on a couple, and I made a couple shots. All right, let's see. Lorenzo, David, oh, man. Joseph, Cassandra, Danita, Christopher, Jesse, and... Sharice. Sharice. That's all, nine. Are they all up there listening on they're, the internet? They're all out there listening, man. I'm the youngest. I'm the 10th. I'm the 10th oh, kid, so... So if I was there, I'd be under Sharice, but they're all listening. They all watch. Anytime we're on TV, they listen to you guys. They love you guys, and they're just so proud of me, man. They, they tell me every day how much they're proud of me, no matter, no matter how I do, you know, and it feels good. So shout out to all my family members, my sisters, my brothers, and my mom and dad. They're here, so they're not listening, but, <laughs> but, I, but I love everybody else and all my other listeners and my fans out there. And Wofford's fans, I don't know if I ever do another interview here at Wofford, but... You got a couple more left. I hope I do, but if not, I told them I'm going to come watch a game next year, and they got to they gotta put me on the radio so I can talk to y'all, keep the people what they want, give them what they want. So I'll be back if this is my last one. So if y'all need me on the air, y'all call in, tell them they need to interview me after the game a couple more times before I get out of here, all right? Hey, you keep, uh, you keep knocking down threes, keep this club winning like they are, and uh, I guarantee you, you'll be back here You're right, man. the season's over. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to grind this regular season out. We might not get it, but that wasn't our goal. When we set goals last year and this year, our goal never was to win the regular season Southern Conference. It's always to win the conference tournament so we can get to that big dance, and that's still our goal. I'm joined on the postgame show now by Wofford head coach Mike Young. And, uh, Coach, we just interviewed all five of your seniors. They're crazy. They, they, they are, are crazy. They're nuts. Um, they make it a lot of fun, and they have uh, – they have from the time they came in here. A couple of them made it uh, beyond fun. They made it interesting from time to time. But, um, you know, the ultimate college experience and, and the ultimate group of good guys, high character, each of them will graduate with their class in May. Um, they've lifted uh, our program, uh, this uh, college, uh, the profile is college with, uh, with, with their abilities and they've done it all uh, day in, day out with an uh, unbelievable class and um, we've certainly benefited from their presence here. Coach, let's get into the game. You get out to a 19-point lead in the second half, and then Ben Drake decides that he – Nothing he, safe. Yeah, nothing, nothing safe. You know, they're just playing, Tom. Yeah. I mean, they are just laying their ears back. It is uh, it is a glorified pickup game, uh, ball screen after ball screen after ball screen. And, um, you know, Drayton's good enough and crafty enough to, you know, make life really hard. Um, we'll take it. We needed it, you know. Nobody, uh, not a big deal uh, what that score is. What matters this time of year is uh, W's and L's, and we uh, got another W uh, to go to 11 and four, I think, 11 and four in the league, and um, uh, with uh, a lot uh, left to, to play for and a lot left to look forward to. You go down to Samford next Wednesday night. They came in here earlier. Um, you, you handled them pretty well. You beat them by 30 plus. But I imagine going to their place will be. Oh, not it's going to be hard down there now. It's not going to be easy. Um, but we've played pretty well down there the last two years, and uh, and one you know different year. And um, I think they would tell you that we guard them as well as anybody uh, in uh, in the league. Uh, we'll certainly have to be sharp going in down there uh, on uh, on Wednesday. You know, those guys are fighting. I think they're uh, a game maybe tied for uh, with Elon and um, somebody else for the fourth uh, slot. Um, you know, so uh, I know they'll be ready to play as our team will be ready to play. And uh, I look forward to getting down to Birmingham. Last senior night question. It is said in recruiting, you recruit parents as well as you recruit the kids, as much as you recruit the kids. What was it like for you to have all these senior parents in here tonight? Well, Talmud Skinner, Talmud Skinner said a long time ago, 
Uh, that support system is uh, essential. Um, and you know, got to know them during the recruiting process, uh, all of them. And uh, they are just uh, wonderful people, and they're in it for the right reasons. They want their child to succeed academically first and foremost, and um, uh, you know have a great experience uh, playing college basketball. I think uh, each one of them will tell you right now that uh, uh, mission accomplished. Uh, we've uh, we've done that for them. Uh, so good group, great group.